This is the first entrance to the house. It's like a pretty long way over there. It's, I would say like maybe a half a mile till you get to the house, but this is the front gate, the first front gate to the house. And then there's a second one. It's pretty cool too. You got some barrels right here. I think it's just decorative, but yeah, this is entrance. It's, it's a pretty interesting drive over there. And this is a road where you come down at. All right, you guys. So we got here already to the property. <coughs> <laughs> all right you guys so we got here to the property already and man let me tell you this house is crazy so this is an entrance right here we're standing like and it's kind of like a little driveway we're, we're standing towards the front of the house and this is like literally the view you get in front of the house this house is at the very top of a hill with like no neighbors around i don't see a house <laughs> anywhere around I here know. so it's pretty convenient because at night you can like bring a loudspeaker i'm assuming no one's gonna complain it's <laughs> it's really cool there's um there's cows out here too i guess coyotes and pig i haven't seen a pig or a coyote yeah, we definitely I've saw heard, cows yeah. No, yeah. but we heard the coyotes at night. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. And we heard them howling. And then, like, down here somewhere, we keep hearing cows. Like, they're making some weird, like, noises. I think they were giving birth or something. This is a second entrance, actually. I'm assuming this is all the same property because there's this driveway that goes all the way down right here. You still have a long way to go. You get to this other gate, and that's, like, the very front of it. We had, like, four cars parked right here, which fit pretty easily. Garage, you don't have access to it, like to like put your cars inside. There's actually a turtle in there. There's a walkway in here. Just simply walking into the house is so cool because you're just seeing like the foreground and the background kind of moving as you're walking. It's, it's just, it's such a nice look. Like I'll give you guys a little example of it right now. It's so much better when you see this in person. This whole house has like really big windows. That's a master bedroom. And the view on there is amazing. Just laying in bed and just seeing that as a view from your bedroom is crazy so this is the entrance got a little hotel right here <laughs> everything's already been lived in already like we did some cleaning up but we still got some stuff <laughs> Yeah, this is a pull-out sofa, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it is. It's a pull-out bed. And this is a the backyard. backyard. Just look at this view, you guys. It's like crazy. All that red over there that you see on, on some of the hills, it's all a bunch of vineyards. You can tell it's all red too because it's everything is red over there. Everything. All the way over there. The drive up here is really nice because as you're driving up here, you're just going through all these uh, vineyards. And it it's just, it's amazing. It's really nice. You have this uh, kind of like couch area right here. So we kind of rearranged them because we had some stuff going on over here. On Someone had a proposal right here, which was amazing at sundown. Gilbert, if you're watching this, congratulations. Uh, that was amazing. <laughs> Lucy, you too, congratulations. You got this big old table right here with a bunch of chairs and benches. Fireplace right here is amazing too at night. It's, it's, it's just so nice. Like earlier uh, this morning we came out here at five to see the sun come up and we just turned on the fire and we, we were sitting right here man it was really nice it's it's definitely an experience to stay here this is legit a, a real getaway it's so quiet out here this is the dining the dining table we have the kitchen right here we got this nice oh little this setup. is this is my favorite part right here yeah look at this two people can stay here and like check that view out mm -hmm. look at that view you get right outside it's crazy 
Oh, and then you have another little window right here to look out. And over here on the side. As far as like amenities go, like man, you get everything here. Like there's scissors and pans and a bunch of spoons and forks, and dishes. They're like They just got a plethora of like utensils and kitchen stuff. There's washing machines as well right here. They got two washing machines. Do they got detergent? Yeah. They do? Oh yeah, yeah they have see. all that. Man, they got everything here. Like there's all these like random stuff right here too. Like in case you, for whatever reason, you might need something. I don't know what's in there. Look at this. Oh, okay. Man, they got it all right here. Yeah, they got extra pillows right here as well. This is this is the hallway for the three bedrooms on this side of the house. This is uh, bathroom number one. Pretty cool. It's got a window up there. This is bathroom number two. It's almost the same thing. The only thing with this bathroom is that none of the girls wanted to shower here because there's no like curtain here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, put so, towels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> someone had a little hike here, but I mean, there isn't anything outside, but just the fact that there isn't a curtain, it, it is a little creepy, yeah. you know. So, we just decided to put a towel, yeah. I mean, at least you don't have to worry about neighbors, <laughs> I know, I know, but still, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so let me turn on the lights a little bit. All right, guys, so the master bedroom is over here, and then this house has four bedrooms. Um, three of them are right here. We stayed in the smallest one. I think that that's the only one that we're gonna be able to show you because the other two are occupied, but I have some short videos of, of some of them. So this is the smallest bedroom right here, which we have. We're only staying here two nights, so we don't wanna like, occupy the other rooms. But yeah, it's, it's a decent size. Windows are also big, and again, you get like a crazy view right here. I can't lift this all the way up, but this might be an issue. But look at that view. It's amazing. So that's the first bedroom. This is the smallest out of the three. And then this is the second biggest right here. And then this is a third. We can't show that one because it's occupied. So that's it for the bedrooms right here. There's three of them and two bathrooms. And then this is the master bedroom right here. It's got a hot tub, like its own little room for a toilet, very big spacious room and bed. And it has a walk-in closet, which is really nice too. And a back door. Yeah. To the backyard. Yeah, and a back door to the backyard with a very tall window throughout the door, which is really nice. So I thought this was pretty cool. When I first got here, this was the first thing that I noticed. Oh, yeah. Guillermo likes to drink a lot of wine. So Not I... a lot of wine. <laughs> Whatever. No, he likes to drink a lot of wine. But anyway, <laughs> so I thought this was pretty cool, like to kind of store the empty bottles that you finish. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I kind of feel like getting one. Yeah, but there's so much like wine culture here. There's a this cool thing right here with a heart of from you know where we are in California. They also provide games, so this is one of them. Where oh yeah, game? wow, yeah. they got Damn, a bunch of games, yeah. Oh, and by the way, they also provide blankets, just like small little blankets, because it gets really, really cold, so you can either just lay here. And also what we were doing is we were actually taking the blankets outside because we were watching the sunrise in the morning. I only went out there once, but I know Guillermo went out there twice. And we were just like sitting by the fireplace and then we just had a blanket over us, but it gets really, really cold. So, and you guys do come here during winter, then yeah, just make sure you guys bring jackets, really comfy sweaters, warm sweaters. We had so much fun last night. Like we, <laughs> we were very sober last night. I got this speaker right here. I love bringing this thing and this thing bombs. This thing, it comes through, it's really cool. We had this thing blasting in here. Everybody was like dancing over here in the, in the living room right over here this dining table is kind of like the heart of the house too we i think we spent more time on that dining table than on the the couches right here yeah for sure yeah and then the kitchen as well like we were like out here oh and let me tell you guys at night the view just because there's very low like there isn't that much light out here the sky at night is just amazing it's just so nice to be out and just look up at the stars it's definitely an experience all right so like one out of ten this place right here i probably give it like a 9.5 like Everything was just amazing like about this place. There are some inconveniences from staying here, like in an area like this, in a house like this. Nothing really like real serious, you know? Yeah. Uh, overall, just- The drive up here itself, uh, Guillermo loved it. I didn't because it was scary as F, you know? 
<laughs> but I was scared. She's a little scary cat. It wasn't that scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, at night. During the day, I have no problem. But at night, it definitely is a drive. And you have to drive with your high beams on. Because if you don't, I don't know. Like, I just feel like you're going to end up hitting a deer or a freaking coyote or something. I don't know. Overall, I would just recommend for you guys to bring your groceries. This morning, I think it happened like around 5.30 or 6. Yeah. So water, I don't know if they shut it off or something. But we didn't have water for like two hours. That's what we experienced. There is signal out here. I didn't have any like signal issues. Yeah. But from what from what I understand, I didn't use the Wi-Fi, but someone else did. And from what oh, I was told, they were having issues with the Wi-Fi. It well, it was a little slow too. Um, they finally got it to work or whatever, but it was it was a little slow. Uh -huh. Those are like very minor things. Everything else, like ninety eight percent of everything else was just a great experience. All right, guys. Uh, another place to check out around here is downtown Paso Robles. That's where we're we're at right now. It's actually pretty nice. There's a lot of uh, restaurants, obviously wine shops and wine bars. Okay guys, so this place is called Fish Guacho. They have Mexican and seafood dishes. We ended up doing takeout and took it back to the Airbnb. Everybody loved the food. We definitely recommend for you guys to try this place out. This next place is called Blast Brew. The guys did beer tasting there and they all liked it as well. Right after that, all of us went wine tasting, except for me. I ended up eating yogurt since I was DD for the day. They had wine barrels as tables, which we all thought was really cool and everybody enjoyed their wine. This next clip is us walking around town. It was definitely a nice walk at night. To end the night, we went to the backyard on 13th. This was definitely one of our favorite spots. It was really cool. Everyone tried all these different beers except for me again. They also had appetizer kind of food so you can definitely enjoy your beer and eat at the same time. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this video informative. We'll leave a link of the Airbnb down below. Feel free to check it out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!